Oh, good morning. It's uh, 6.20. I just got through getting up and getting dressed. I'm going to make my breakfast this morning and uh, shoot a down and dirty quick video of what my mornings are like. Uh, please ignore the background noises. I didn't tell Frida to be quiet or anything. You may hear her chair clicking and uh, but that's just part of my life. But I'm going to make a uh, Mexican street food breakfast this morning. If they're real easy to make, a real simple, and uh, then I'll introduce you uh, to uh, Ethel, our housekeeper and dear friend, and show you what she does. Cooking spray to keep things from sticking and get started on this. Now, the basis of my breakfast this morning is a leftover, Frida's leftover bowl from yesterday morning. This is called an ultimate breakfast bowl from Roses, and it contains. Oh, oh, with the name of ultimate, that means everything. It contains eggs and meat and potatoes and refried beans and uh, oh cheese. I don't know what all. It won't take all of it, uh, but I'll start with some of this. I see some jalapenos in there. It's, it's good stuff, I'll tell you what. They don't call it ultimate for no reason. That looks like it'd be about the right amount. Let that heat up. Okay, that's hot. I'll break an egg in it now. Don't even have to scramble the egg before I put it in. Just, just toss it in and scramble it in the pan. Mix it with the other ingredients. I told you this is simple. Hit it with a little salt and pepper. That's especially for the egg. The rest of it's already seasoned. around the edges. Now what I'll do is turn it over so it'll cook the other side. Well, so much for, for flipping it. It, it's Mexican street cooking. It, it doesn't make any difference. It, you just can't do it wrong. <clears throat> and I've got the uh, tortilla up here in the oven to uh, microwave oven to heat about 10 seconds. 
so it's nice and soft and ready to use. Okay, it's ready. Put over here. And pour this right in the middle of it. I guess I'm going to have to loosen it to pour it. There we go, right there. Okay. Hit it with some hot sauce, some picante, salsa picante, and all oh, that's good stuff. And some grated cheese. Cheese is kind of all stuck together. I'll break it apart. Now I'll pick this up semi taco burrito style by folding this up and this side over here and this side over here and I'm headed with my recliner with a cup of coffee and the clock says it's time to eat and I'll have my breakfast okay here I am in my recliner with my burrito <laughs> Mestito is what it's called. It cost me 20 cents to make, 10 cents for the egg, 10 cents for the taco. And it is good. Well, it's uh, five minutes till seven, and Ethel will be here in a minute to take care of Frida's breakfast. She's up, and uh, she'll fix her breakfast, and then she'll put me on the uh, compression machine for my legs, and I'll show you that. That is good eating. And it's so quick to make, uh, make, and you make it with leftovers, and <clears throat> it's just hard to beat a breakfast like this. Okay, this is Ethel Foreman. Uh, she's a resident here at the villas with us. Been here about five or six years. Seven. Seven years? <laughs> yeah. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> uh, when she moved in, I saw her name on the uh, new roster, or the new residence, and I thought, i got to meet that lady. <laughs> Happened to meet her in the parking lot and introduced myself, and when I got through, she probably thought, who's that crazy old man that thinks mom is mother? Because her name, Ethel, is the same as my mother's name. But as it turns out, she does uh, <clears throat> uh, housekeeping here as a way to supplement her income. A lot of people here do that. I do YouTubes. A uh, lady here does sewing and makes a uh, COVID mask. And uh, there's even a guy here that teaches uh, 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 computer. 
uh, computers, but there's another one that teaches uh, how to play poker. Mm. And he teaches how you can go to uh, one of the Indian casinos and, and then hope to break even, you probably won't. But I'm going to, she's going to show you what she does for me in addition to housekeeping and uh, taking care of Frida and things like that. Okay, this compression machine goes on my legs. <clears throat> Each one of them has a kind of a sock looking thing on it and there's no way I could put it on by myself or even take it off. And uh, what it does, it starts compressing my legs. I have lymphedema, and this starts compressing my legs eight stages, starting at my toes and working up to the crotch. And uh, uh, I have to use it for 30 minutes every day, or my legs swell. And uh, Tita puts it on on the four days a week she's here. And Three. Ethel puts it on the five days she's here. A four. I'm here four. I mean four Tina's days. I'm three. sorry. I'm sorry. And uh, she puts it on and takes it off. And I say there's no way I could without them. Okay, turn it on. And okay. what time is it? 7.37. 7.37. Okay, I'll be on for 30 minutes. Uh... I'll listen to the usual, I hate even take a nap, as I often do. So you go ahead and take care of Frida and your things like that. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, you ready to take me off? Yes. Been on 30 minutes? Yeah. All fed and taken care of. Yes. That was good. So you you wound up your day pretty well, haven't you? Okay. okay. Got you all. Now we've got to put your shoes on. Okay, I'll turn over here and let you put my shoes on me. Okay. Did you know this? Uh, let's turn that radio off. Thank you. Did you notice that my diabetic shoes match the compression legs on the uh, yeah. compression machine? Yes, I did. Oh, that's neat. They sure are comfortable. Let me get up here. They fit better now. They don't hurt. Okay, thanks for watching my videos. I really appreciate that. If you aren't subscribed, we'll do so. And if you have friends, you might tell them about it because subscribing is the way uh, I get uh, paid for being here. And while it, it's it's done in pennies, it does mount up. And uh, I had over 20,000 viewers for just the uh, video on how to fix a spiral cut ham. And that did help this month's income considerably. So, uh, God bless America, God bless Texas, and you folks have a great day. Bye. Bye, Ethel. Bye. Thanks for coming. You're welcome.